What's up guys? Stay with me because I'm getting ready to show you how to change the thermostat the easy way. What's up gang? I am definitely here uh, working on my motor again. Again? Well, not really again. You know, I've taken this thing apart one time and uh, you know, this motor has been a really good motor to me. Uh, I really can't complain on that. This is a Johnson 90 horsepower. Uh, it's a four banger. And uh, I'm getting ready to replace my thermostats that I believe is uh, going bad. <clears throat> I did a couple of uh, small tips and tricks and I found out, hey, I just need to replace them because uh, this year is uh, 2016 and uh, this is a 1998 uh, motor. This thing has been a really reliable motor. I can't complain on it. And uh, what I'm about to do is uh, doing a small little tutorial on the taking out the thermostats. I know it's a big pain in the butt for a lot of people to do these uh, because really you need to take the top end off. The lower end, oh, it, you know, it's a really a big pain in the butt. And what I've done so far, I've already removed this bottom piece that you're going to have to remove. Uh, there's a screw right here, a screw right here. And there's two other ones on the other side that you're going to have to take off and just remove this as well. You know, from the back side of it, you uh, really can't hardly even tell that I've uh, just started this project. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be cutting out the back of this section right here. And I don't know if you can see right here where this small little lip, I started right here on this lip. And then uh, I started right here on this lip. Went straight up, started cutting, and uh, I'll go on ahead and continue on this cut and to just uh, take this up because the thermostats are right in back of here. And I'll, you know, I'll let you go on ahead and take a look at this. <clears throat> you know, there's quite a number of people that's been having uh, problems, uh, issues trying to get uh, these thermostats out of here. You know, the engineering that uh, Johnson did, I don't know, it could have done a little bit better, I think. Um, to trying to get in these bolts out here, here, and here. You know, I just felt that, you know, cutting a little small access versus taking this complete power head off, the lower unit off. You know, I've already done that one time on removing this steering arm. Um, <clears throat> I can show you the original steering arm that was on this motor here um, completely, you know, just fell apart. And I always run this in salt water. Uh, you know, I had to take the top end off, the lower end off, just to get to the steering arm. And I really don't want to do that again. Um, you know, it's just a pain in the butt. So, you know, I thought about uh, getting a little access hole will be the trick. And I'll keep this piece, and I'll just stick it back in and JB weld it back in there. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I just think it's going to be uh, a lot more simpler. And I'll be able to uh, get back in the river and the ocean uh, lickety split. So, here we go. All right, operation time. Well, not too bad. We'll see if we can pop it out. <laughs> Piece of cake. And uh, there you go. Now, uh, break out your handy dandy uh, little torch. Definitely want to wear eye protection. This is aluminum, heat aluminum. Some of that stuff will pop. And, uh, you know, just, you know, take precautions. Man, this is convenient. This this hole is just awesome. All right, here we go. Let's see. I think it's going to break on me. I think I can feel it. Yep, it's tightening up. So I'm going to put a little bit more heat on there. Definitely don't grab that bad boy with your fingers. <laughs> Get a wrench. Hey, there you go. Looks like there's one. Praise God on that, right? All right, 
Let's uh, do two of these others and let's see if we can get them out the same way, alright? Let's go. Are we going to break it or we're going to get it out? Let's see, uh, let's find out. Here's number two. Perfect. Wow, if all three of these come out, it's going to be amazing without uh, breaking a one. Let's see. To catch them. There you go. That's how it's done. Booyah. There's your thermostats. Okay, I've uh, already gotten this thing off. Um, one thing I didn't know, um, this is plastic, so watch heating that. And I scorched it a little bit on top, didn't do that much. I was more concentrating on this metal part. Uh, so, you know, just kind of be careful of this plastic piece right here. So, let's get these guys out. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go on ahead and buy the kit. Looks great. Um, this is the cylinder I was having problems with, and wow. You know, I don't know how much water or how that thing could be opening up. Um, because there you go um, yeah so I'm gonna get some new ones and see how this guy is eh, you know these definitely could be replaced like I said you know my boat is a uh, 1998 uh, and this is 2016 and I have never changed these things and I've always ran that thing in salt water uh, so it's pretty much about time you know, I probably, I've heard guys uh, put these in a solution, clean them up, and uh, they work like a champ. Um, but this is some crusty stuff. You know, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and buy some new ones. Uh, yeah. And yeah, let's see what we got here. Yeah. I don't know if you can probably see that. But uh, I'll be cleaning this up as well. I guess I'll, I'll put that in uh, some semi-diluted uh, acid. Uh, don't forget about your gaskets. Uh, this was just so much easier uh, doing what I'd done, you know, just so what? Uh, I got a small little piece that I got to put together in the back of the boat. Uh, for what I just did, shoot, man, this is a you know, piece of cake. Uh, you, I'm just not complaining at all. I'll have that thing back, and I'll, have, I'll be back in the water uh, by the weekend without having to tear that whole friggin' thing apart. So, all right, that's what they look like. Uh, definitely crusty. Ooh, yep. So, uh... Yeah, I'll get back to you and when I put this thing back together and uh, we'll finish it up, all right? Catch you later! Okay, still want to let you see what's going on here. I went on ahead and uh, took this gasket off. Uh, you know, just got that cleaned up. Took a wire brush, a little bit of sandpaper, and, uh, you know, took some of that stuff off. And, uh, you know, let you kind of have a good view of that. Uh, again, you know, this, uh, this type of engineering here, uh, that probably should have been done in the factory, right? <laughs> Okay, uh, last night after I got the, all that stuff uh, done, I went ahead and uh, soaked this part. Uh, I went in, uh, to the store and got some um, vinegar, white vinegar. And you know something? That just did a really fantastic job. And again, I don't know if you can really see in there, but, uh, you know, it got all that crap out of there, obviously. You know, see that crap. Uh, I'll go on ahead and take this gasket off, and uh, we'll hurry up and put this thing back together. Uh, you know, that was a piece of cake. Um, hey, I haven't done a simpler job than that to... Uh, ever for that small little motor so oh and here we go uh, let you see the old ones you could definitely see the crud you know all over that one here and uh, I'll let you see another one I went by uh, fun time boats here in Merritt Island and uh, picked up some new ones uh, I went ahead and uh, looked it up iboats.com uh, these guys had it for uh, the kit for uh, 3158. That would be delivered to my house. Uh, fun time, you know, they charged me uh, 3829. So you know, they made a little money. You know, I, I don't know about these uh, brick and mortar places. Pretty soon uh, they may go out of business, just like uh, Amazon's. You know, uh, they're they're putting people out out of business for sure. So uh, let's let's go on ahead and unwrap this, and I'll let you see uh, a new one versus uh, an old one. Side by side, new one, old one, and you can uh, definitely tell a big difference uh, in them right there. I mean, there's uh, there's probably my overheating problem right there. So uh, let me see, what else? What else? I don't think you need to look at the assembly. 
Uh, I don't think you need to really see me put it back together, but I'll put it back on the boat and, you know, let you see it, uh, uh, see the process of that. It's really, you know, actually this was very easy to do the way I did it. Take some of this gasket stuff off of here. See how easy this comes off. This is a side. It comes right off. Okay. A little bit of acetone. Probably work wonders. Just clean those mating surfaces. Okay, back to the acetone. Let's clean this up. A little bit of goo on the surface and your motor surface. Don't put it on. Uh, don't put it on this plastic surface. We're just gonna put a little bit on there, just so uh, that gas is gonna stink real good. There you go. Enough. There you go. Dang. Hey, I live here in Florida, man. I got mosquitoes everywhere. All right, got that piece on. Exputimus. Goes in there like that. Exputimus. Booyah. Can't be too much simpler, right? And uh, I'm going to go on ahead and make the other surface. So come on, let's do it. Okay, back here at the motor. Air and grease all the way up everywhere. Okay, got the camera set back up. Um, yeah, without this being removed, you know, I guess people are trying to push, put this back in there with these springs, and I, you know, I couldn't even see it. Whoops, uh, I couldn't even see how they were doing that. So I'm gonna kind of do it the easy way. Like I said, I'm all about easy, and uh, I'll push this. Get my ratchet. We'll see if you'll see how easy it is for me. I don't know. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Got to watch these. Got to watch the thermostats. Just be careful of that. You know, some things you just got to you got to watch. Let me see if I can uh, get this thing on there. Now, how easy was that? And also, you're thinking about, okay, what are you going to do about this hole? So, uh, what I did, I went on ahead and uh, <clears throat> JB Weld a piece of plastic. And you know, I thought about some metal or something, uh, you know, right on there to kind of overlap to where, you know, I can just put this plate right back in there. Pretty much like, like it was. Booyah. Boom. And uh, what I'll do... I'll either uh, hot glue with some very strong hot glue, uh, glue that, paint it up on the bottom. There you go. All we got to do is just put these hoses back on and, uh, you know, I'll be right back out in the river. Okay, there you have it. You know, uh, again, just uh, put your hoses back on there. Um, I'll let you see what the bottom looks like. You know, that is, that is not bad at all. You know, I'll just go on ahead and paint that, hot glue it up. You know, I might JB weld it, but uh, I doubt it. What if, you know, I need to get back in there and redo it again? This will be a piece of cake to just go ahead and take out, redo it. It's, it's easy. Again, this is so easy to do. You can do it. So if I saved you a little bit of time, a lot of money, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Get back out on the ocean and the river. I'm Michael Marks, Port Canaveral, Florida. Catch you later. Bye. Yeah.